Hey guys, Flathead Tom here. Well, you uh, might know from our Facebook post that we stopped in Mansfield, Ohio to visit uh, Ted and Carol Vale. We uh, just were, we've just been exhausted from hauling that truck and trailer, maybe you can see them in the background, hauling that truck and trailer and all that gear across country. It's a lot more stressful than you'd think. Um, part of the deal with any mission like this is that it takes logistics. It takes uh, food, transport, support. If it was a military operation, you would need ammunition, right? Medical supplies, etc. For this trip across country, this wings of wind trip, we jumbled together a ragtag group of people, uh, all with slightly different agendas. We started in the rain. We had one traveler go down on his motorcycle and be hospitalized. Uh, we had a broke down car. The Mustang was a challenge all the way across country, but in order to properly honor the executive president of the Native American Fellowship, we made sure that that thing got across country and did whatever it took. Often we were delayed by things like that or weather, or we simply couldn't get to the places that we needed to on the time allowed. It was a grueling journey across country. it has been a grueling journey back. Uh, some of us went in separate directions. Pastor Brent traveled alone to see a few of the other Native American pastors in, in the South uh, and, and made a little bit better time. He's made it home today. We're proud of him. 7,000 miles, the Iron Butt Award. He's really blessed, and as you know, my bike broke down before we even got to Week 6. My bike never even rode on Week 66, uh, which pushed me into a more logistics, repair, planning, and responsibility mode. And uh, we've made it. We've made it to Ohio, but we're wiped out. Debbie, Lisa, and I are wiped out. We're taking today to rest. We realize that we've been spiritually sapped, and we need a day with the Lord, a day to be able to be out in this beautiful place this beautiful farm to be in the word to be in prayer to be in worship to be in gratitude we are grateful yeah there's a lot of stuff going on back home there's a lot of stuff going on in the church and in our personal lives we're praying for one of our fallen brothers and we're hoping for the best all that still is going on we're still praying for everyone uh, I wish this was more of a fun video but the reality is, it takes a whole group of people to be able to pull something like this off. And I'm grateful that Pastor Brent has made it all the way across country. I'm even more grateful, to be perfectly honest, if you see the bags in my eyes, that I got a full night's sleep for the first time in several weeks. And uh, we have a day of spiritual refreshment before the final 11 or 12 hour drive back to Randolph then to unpack, to distribute people, to distribute stuff, for people to unload their stuff, transport motorcycles for repair, work on sermons and prepare for a worship service Friday night, and then do more unpacking over the weekend. It's not an easy trip, but it's been a blessed trip. People have been touched across country, we've met people across country, and uh, it's one for the adventure books. The Lord has been glorified. Thank you, Jesus.